for you people to come on here and, and, and judge what I've done in my relationship, the nerve of you people. And y'all need to check yourself because everybody go through situations. And that's why I come on here and I motivate people. That's why I play music. That's why I encourage people. Because I know a lot of us may not want to talk about the things that we've been through. And it's easier to laugh at somebody else's issues when we're trying to hide our own. Molestation is not a joke. And I wanted to have this conversation with my kids and my family before I did it. But we're here now. For somebody to, for you to confide into somebody, and 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 that's what they do, and I'm and I'm and I have a lot of screenshots and a lot of texts that I'm gonna read out and I'm gonna show you. Okay. I encouraged Kirby. I motivated her. I wanted her to be the best she can be. I started working on a website for her, for her boutique, because she wanted to sell swimsuits. I brought her to the forefront. I put her on my Instagram. I let the world know that this is my wife. I encouraged her. I told her that she has a beautiful spirit. That's why she started doing lives last week. When she did her makeup tutorial and there was 20 people on it, I said, I need to encourage my girl. I need to support her. I went and got the Mitzi outfit. And I, and I, and I joined her live and I added my live and I knew that would bring her followers. She went from 3,000 followers to 14,000 in, in four days. Okay? She called her, her, her Wednesday, Women's Wednesday. Now, I always knew that Kirby had some kind of Loving or liking for women. And like I said, I'm putting it all out here because I don't want to come back on here and respond to anybody or anything. Every argument, every serious argument that we, that me and Kirby had was because of another woman. And not on my behalf either. From the day I met Kirby up until two weeks ago, I never interacted with another woman in my in, in that whole situation. I interacted as far as conversation, yes, flirting, yes, but sexually, mm mm. Because I knew what I wanted. <laughs> now, <laughs> about this sex tape. Deep in Kirby's heart. And I'm looking you dead in your eyes, Kirby. Because I know you got your, your, your little scum team watching. But deep in, your, deep in, in my heart, I know that you released that. You released it. This is Kirby's old phone right here. This is her old phone. We, I did break her phone. Yes, I did. I broke it. You know why I broke it? Because, <laughs> let me get to this, let me get to this part of it. Last week, I went to Fort Lauderdale to do a show. A friend of mine said that she wanted to come to the show. I bought her a ticket. She came. She came to the show, but I knew, <clears throat> I knew that this girl was just a friend. 
but I knew that Kirby was so on my body about having other women around and so insecure about me talking to other women that I knew that if I was to tell her that a female friend of mine wanted to come to Fort Lauderdale to the show, that she wouldn't like that. We went to the show. I came back home. Me and this girl did nothing. When I came back, Kirby told me that we need to talk. Now, I would put my, my head on the block for Kirby. She lived with me. So I didn't ever think that she would still be communicating with anybody or she would be doing anything with anybody. So I put my head on the block. People was always asking me, like, you think she's faithful? Like, what? I, nobody couldn't tell me that she wasn't faithful. So I never had a reason to go through Kirby's phone. I never had a reason to check or... And I know what that brings also, so I never wanted to check her phone. When I got back from Fort Lauderdale, she hacked into my computer, found my password, and she was looking through my texts. Now, if you have an Apple phone and an Apple computer, you know that your, uh, your accounts is on the same. So she went and started looking through my, my texts. She saw me talking to women. She saw me flirting with women. She, she, she swore up and down that I was having sex with these people, but I actually wasn't. And I'm not gonna, I'm, like I said, I'm not gonna sit here and play like I'm a saint, but I'm gonna tell you the truth. After the conversation that me and Kirby had, where she, where she threw my molestation in my face, when she threw me having a smaller penis than the man that she was with before and all of these things that she was saying. You see, an argument is an argument and we could throw insults at each other, but when you take the things that was confided in you and throw it in their face, it's a different level. But from the time she did that, that's when I started really saying, you know what, I'm vulnerable, my self-esteem is low, she made me feel away, so I started talking to other people, but not just speaking, just conversing and flirting and whatever. So she confronted me with it and she was disappointed in me and I was dis disappointed in myself. I was ashamed. I felt like I was weak. I let my family down and I'm big on setting examples for my kids and I didn't want that to be one of the examples that I would set for them. So I begged her for her forgiveness. I told her that, you know, I'm, I'm ashamed of myself and I begged her for my forgiveness. And I said, you know, I'm sorry. You know, I was flirting with these people and I, and I had, I did have a sexual uh, experience with one of the people. I did. And it made me feel so bad, but it wasn't, it wasn't actual sex. It was, it was oral sex. And I felt so bad about that. And I tried for the last, well, for the, for that, this happened, I think it was last week I was in Fort Lauderdale. And this happened and I got back home, I think on Sunday and Monday, Tuesday, I was just trying my best to, to, to prove to her that, you know, I'm, 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 I'm taking accountability and I'm so sorry. And, you know, I didn't, I didn't want that for us. And, you know what I'm saying? And stuff like that. And she was really hard on me about it, which I expected. I expected her to be hard and I was expected. I was, I was, I was ready for whatever the consequences were. At the same time, I thought to myself, why is this girl always have the need to check my stuff? Why does she always have the need to to go through my my things? If I go out to a party and I'm with, say, DJ Young Chow or I'm with Steely Bashman, she has to go on their story to see what I'm doing because she know I'm not going to post anything crazy. And I just was wondering why? Why does she have to go so hard for this whole, like, I'm cheating thing? And I'm not. And I said, you know what? 
people who do this, they do it because they have something to hide. And this is when I took her phone. Kirby, <laughs> she said, you, you want to go through my phone? All right, let me open it. Now, you know this, these phones is face ID and code and all of that. I said, I don't need to do it in front of you. So when I had her phone, she was chasing me with, for the phone in her vehicle, chasing me. I was driving my Bentley. She was driving her CLA and she's chasing me through the streets for this phone. We went to somebody who I thought was my friend. We went to her house and her house is a, you know, it, it, it's on a street. Kirby blocked off the street so that I couldn't go anywhere. But if a car came and she had no choice but to move her car and I had to move my car too. So I pulled in a driveway. Kirby blocked me in the people's driveway. As I was reversing, she pulled her car up and my car touched her car. Of course, she's gonna exaggerate it and say that I rammed her car. But I, but I want y'all to challenge her. Ask her to see the damage on her car since I rammed her car. Because I'm not going to take my Bentley that I, I work hard for and ram anybody's car. So, she didn't want to open her phone for some strange reason. I spoke to one of my friends. I said, yo, bro, I'm trying to, you know, I, I think that Kirby has something to hide. I said, she don't want to open the phone for some obvious reason or whatever the case may be. And he said, well, if she don't want to open her phone, you already got your answer. But I had to see. So later that evening, she told me she was going to open her phone and she kind of tried to gear me up for what I was going to see because she said, you're not going to see anything like what's in your phone. <laughs> Turned out that she was right because I seen way more than what was ever in my phone. I opened her phone. Well, she opened it. I was in the theater room downstairs. I was, I was going through her phone and I went to her pictures first. That was the first place I went. She was upstairs, she was in the guest room and I was going through the phone and I'm looking at stuff And I started to see, uh, it take me a while because I, I got a lot of screenshots, but I seen conversations with her and people and all of this stuff. Let me just get to it. Now, <sighs> let me just get to it real quick. These are the things that I started to see in her phone. And no disrespect to any, any man that was involved in the situation and was dealing with her or whatever the case may be. But I really did not take to social media in this last breakup that we had. I did not want to, I did not mention it. As a matter of fact, I defended Kirby when I was playing music the other day and somebody came on there and said that she, he, she always knew that she was a gold digger. I defended Kirby and I played a song that Kirby likes. Okay. So this, these are the things that I saw on, on, in Kirby's phone. Somebody, so, so, so these are the things that I was seeing. I saw this, I saw this, which is the great famous Nate that's in that video. I saw this. I 
I'm in the parking lot waiting for you. This is November 19th, 2019. Now, if anybody remembers 2019, I mean, was the... Huh? Huh? Let me do my thing. She told me this. If anybody remembers 2019, that was the year around this time that I posted a picture of Kirby with her belly like she was pregnant. I saw this. Otis. December 25th, I saw this. And like I said, no disrespect to nobody who was involved with Kurt while I was with her, but I have to, I have to, I have to speak my truth. Okay. And this is all of 2019. So you're, you're, you're accusing me of cheating on you in 2020, but this is what you was doing all of 2019 and I'm gonna I'm go through them fast I'm going through them this is all 2019 So when I confronted her about these things, she told me that that is from her friend's group chat. She got ups upset, came upstairs and broke my light in the kitchen. Okay. And like I said, I'm going to take my time and do what I got to do because like I said, at the end of the day, I'm not, I'm not coming back. I'm not answering. So this is Nate. Okay? This is Nate. This is the guy who was in the video laughing and rejoicing and, 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 making, and, and making a joke out of her having sex in a bathroom. And like I said, I know Kirby has a son. No way in the world would I would I would I release any type of video of her in any kind of compromising situation. Because not only does it make her look bad, it makes me look bad. I have all of these things that I could have released if that was my nature, if that's who I was. This is her. Speaking in her group, Asia and Kay and, and Naja and all of these people. I want y'all to pay attention because we're not going to play the innocent role. We're going to speak the truth. All of this is while me and Kirby was together. Okay. And she's going to tell you that we wasn't together when, this th when these things was going on. That's what she's going to tell you. Okay. This This right here This is actually The same ex That she told me Wanted to, wanted to uh, expose her, her, her sex tape And was threatening her She changed his name From what it was To Susan In her phone So that she could continue to, to talk to this person who was threatening to put out her sex tape. This is the conversation that they're having last year, December. While we're trying to figure things out, while we're still communicating, while we're still traveling, this is the things that, 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 that was going on. So when you come on live and you try to portray to people 
that you are innocent and nothing's going on and you never did anything and I'm just picking on you and I was beating on you. I never beat on you, Kirby. She was the abu abusive one and I want every man out there, don't allow women to hit you. Do not allow women to subject you to being abused and, and, and speak out on it. I want y'all to speak out on it because I was embarrassed. I never told much people, but I was embarrassed to say that a woman was putting her hands on me and spitting in my face and biting me and all of these things. I was, a, I was ashamed as a man. So I know there's other men out there that's going through this that is ashamed to talk about it. Because the minute you try to restrain them or hold their hand, you're dead wrong. And like I said, I'm very sympathetic with the women who really and actually went through these things. But it's not fair to them, those women. It's not fair to them for somebody to come and try to manipulate them and use them for situations. Everyone is saying, I made this big talk about a soca artist and 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 there is no soca artist and 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 all of this stuff this is the conversation with her and and, and, I, and I, I don't have the whole conversation but this is moto she was talking to moto while she was talking to me december 20 29th 9 20, 2019 he, he pinned where he was and said, here. A couple of months ago, October 23rd, Friday, a couple of months ago, hey, how are you, sweetie? How are you, love? So this is what you're doing. And you're, and you're telling, and you're, 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 that's why you had the need to go through my phone. Because you knew exactly what you was doing. Okay? I, I read her, 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 her chats with her, with her friends. They called me a paymaster. I was nothing but a paycheck for Kirby. This is her speaking to Nate. And like I said, me and Kirby had our offs and ons. But we was always trying to work through it and always trying to fix things. Right? So whether she was in Florida, whether she was here, we always had the need to try to fix things. Does anybody remember this date? Look at the date and tell me, does anybody remember it? Because I'm going to remind you of it right now. Okay? I was nothing but real, genuine, and honest to Kirby. I took care of her for two years. If, if you've seen that screenshot that I just put up when she said she was at the dentist and, 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 and she was getting a root canal, her mother called me and told me that I have to pay her root canal bill because that's my woman. Knowing that she, she was engaging with other men. So this is what it's been. The whole entire relationship. So you see the date on this, on this, on this right here. You see the date. Now I'm going to show you the date of something else. So when they talk about uh, they wasn't with me at the time. Makes sense. This is this is when we went to L.A. You, you you saw the you saw it, and she said she was in L.A. Yes, he flew you out. Yes. While I'm on stage, trying to make a dollar to feed my family. While I bring her on the stage and telling everybody that this is my wife, you're telling a man. That you're gonna be back, and you're gonna see him when he get when you get back. This is all when we was in L.A. Okay, 
I've set up this whole thing for her. That's what love is. That's what love is. This is the picture that I was talking about. Okay? And I have so many texts and everything that I could show you. And, 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 and really and truly, I don't feel like I need to go into all of that. But the way that I see that you guys dealt with me is necessary. The way that I've seen her play this innocent role is necessary. I've been taking care of Kirby since she got here. Okay? And she's talking about years. I, 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 was, I was abused for years. For years? We only been together for two years. What's years? You're talking like, like it was 10 years. And then you're lying. I've been taking care of her. This is all her. What's uh, 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 also with the stuff that I sent to her bank account? Okay. So the truth must be told. Kirby is a very abusive woman, very abusive emotionally, verbally. Physically. This is her friend. Now any woman. And, 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 and I'm, I'm not going to keep it on there. I'm not going to keep it on there. Because I don't want. Look, just read. Just read. Just read. Don't, don't believe me. Read. Read. Don't believe me. Read. I just want to speak my truth. So, she claimed that I did voodoo to her. She said I was doing voodoo on her, right? A friend of mine's, when we was going through our problems, introduced us to someone that was supposed to be a spiritual man, right? Me and Kirby both decided that we wanted this man to help us through our problems. And, you know, he, he was a spiritual man and he could pray over us and do whatever he had to do to make sure that we was okay. This man was a Haitian man. We both decided that this is what we was, wanted to do. The man did a spiritual reading. And the man said that the same guy that has been doing, that has been threatening her, put out her sex tape and all that, has been doing voodoo on her. That's what the man told us. I'm not, I'm not assuming anything. I'm not making any allegations. I'm, I'm telling you the facts. The man said that the guy who she was with was doing voodoo on her. To keep her in his life. The man asked Kirby. Did you ever give this man any piece of clothing that you wore or anything? She said yes. She said he asked for her shirt when she was in the academy. And, and he took a dirty panty and, 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 and had that. And the man was doing voodoo on her. So, I, so we went for it to be, to be removed. We didn't go to a black magic specialist or a dark voodoo person. We went to somebody that said they were godly and they could help us take that off. The man, when me and Kirby had another situation where she left, 
The man said that he's been calling Kirby and she's not answering his phone and he takes that as disrespect and he doesn't like that. He told me that what he was going to do to her and this and that and I didn't like the fact that that's where he was going with it because if you're a man of God, you shouldn't have that type of thought process in your mind. And this is where I realized that this man was a dirty man. He, he told me what he wanted me to do to Kirby and I wrote it down on a piece of paper and I knew that I was never going to talk to this man again. I knew that I was never going to do what he told me to do to Kirby, so I left it alone. But I left that paper that I wrote everything down in my drawer. Once again, Kirby had the need when I was not home to search through my things and she found it. And I've been, I was honest and I was open with her and I told her, I said, listen, this is what the man told me to do, but I would never do anything like that to you because I love you genuinely. So when she talk about voodoo, come on. Come on. <laughs> I'm going to read the other texts that I couldn't bother to scroll down and all of that stuff. But I also want to show you the amount of interference that her mother had to play in our relationship. Okay? Okay? 